Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another instrument cluster repair. This time working on a 1999 VW Eurovan. These are the nice campers that are actually really, really um, popular. Um, they're very beautiful, nice cars, and there's a lot of them in the road. All right, this is sent to me by Patrick F. from California. Uh, concerns, uh, as far as the nose shows, us no tack. Uh, no speedometer and no tachometer, uh, right? So these are the notes that they got from a shop or they were doing some, uh, you know, old services, some other things. So I just copy that in there. I usually like to reproduce the concern uh, because I noticed something different, but that is fine. I mean, the, cl the cluster will be completely fixed after here. Uh, so the, everything is on, let me power on. Check, make sure that all the lights are working, and they are. Um, I can hear, and my microphone takes that out, but I can hear the motors are still whining and whining and whining, which is normally from a short inside the board. But um, let's put the tachometer to work. Um, yep, uh, let me just see that one more time. Yes, it's not working this time before it did work. Okay, you see, and now it should be reading a thousand rpms and it's not so that's definitely no good so let me turn that off um, i'm going to inject the speed uh, so now it's not working so i'm going to send the signal for the speedometer definitely not moving so we can see that and now let's put temperature and fuel uh, temperature and fuel this should go up to like half and this into a quarter we can see the temperature gauge moving but the fuel gauge is completely dead all right, so it looks like this has 101,730 miles. So let me um, turn this off because we can definitely reproduce the concern. Let me take the board apart. Let me turn all this off. So I'm going to turn, uh, you know, remove everything from the board. I put all the uh, um, stepper motors new voltage regulator capacitors dials and resolder the entire board repair the areas where the capacitors has leak because that's one of the concerns the voltage regulator gets damaged immediately by that and then resolder the entire board i have multiple videos about this so all i'm going to do is fix the um you know repair the cluster and then record a video when everything is now nice working properly and then we go from there all right i'll be right back all right, guys, the repairs are done. Uh, Patrick, your instrument cluster is ready. I already even kind of like uh, closely. This one is at least uh, the reset. Let me reset that one one second. Okay, I guess now I'll reset it again so we can see perfect zero and no. all. Let's power it up first. And this, now we see the motor trying to find its position. Let's say if by any chance when you receive these clusters, from me and the needles are not in the correct position let's say like this when you connect the battery they should find a spot like this and that's what that sound is um, I, I know my microphone will most likely cut that off but uh yeah everything is there so let's go in order let's check fuel level and temperature remember the temp temperature gauge wasn't moving or sort of the fuel gauge wasn't moving and that is perfect we're almost lo always looking for half and close to a quarter that's exactly what we had now the speed i should uh, go over to 10 miles an hour with what i have in there and that is exactly what we have in there and i have this one on 50 hertz so that should be a thousand rpms and we got exactly a thousand rpms so that is perfect so i'm going to increase the speed so we can see nice and smooth uh, a speed um, that is just my needle here sometimes i move it you see i'm moving and it doesn't go up from 20 something wrong with this button shometer but it's so intricate to replace that i'm i'm living with it for now but yeah we can see the speed after that when i reached like 70 or so now it start to reading good and we can see how i can go up and down nice sorry nice and smooth in there same as in here you see now the, the the numbers are changing and now i got more precision but at first it's not like that with with the numbers in there so it's nothing to do with the cluster it's more with my simulator but again i live with that and the same thing is when i reach 20 it's like that spot you see i'm moving in in 20 stays 20 stays until i can finally reach down to like 14 15 hertz that's it and that is again 10 10 miles an hour i'm going to put more 
RPM. So let me get, um, I'm going to go to 20, sorry, to 2000. That should be 100 Hertz. And that is exactly, we can see that in the responses immediate. So that is good and it resets perfectly. I can turn the speed off. So let's double check the temperature. I'm going to increase the temperature and we will need to see this light blinking. That is like overheating or low cooling message. So that should increase and it is happening. And we can see the needles going up specifically the one in the temperature. Perfect. And now that the fuel, that is good. All right, so the fuel always takes a little uh, time based on what I'm using for, but again, that's a perfect test. They both pass. So I'm just going to let it rest in there and then go back to zero, which is exactly perfect, perfect reaction. So the cluster is working 100%. As you saw already, the lights, all lights are coming on and everything is working perfect. All right, so I'm just going to clean the lens and put everything back together. But Patrick, your instrument cluster is ready. Thank you guys for visiting the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have any modules or instrument cluster that needs to be repaired, just look for Mike Salazar Diagnostics. Again, that's how my name is spelled, M-A-I-C, and sounds as Mike. Again, the same thing, you know, triple W, MySalazarDiagnostics.com. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.